Hi guys, so this is part two of that um, Baba Serpent uh, thing that showed up mysteriously on my, uh, the, attached to the end of my YouTube video. So we are going to reveal what that serpent is. Okay, so the serpent kingdom is the kingdom that God de defeated. It has ether and uh, uh, earth, air, water, life and death here. So your beginning and the ending of your life. And the serpent is like our skin. You know, they say, this is what they're saying on their occult website thing. We're going to, we're going to clarify some stuff. Um, the serpent, it, 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 the skin peels when it burns, right? <clears throat> now the serpent, now Jesus knew who, who had become a serpent on their inner man and did not have light in them. Anyone who doesn't have him on the inner man, their darkness if you don't have the Lord Jesus. And so um, what he has shown me with this Baba Lotus picture thing, okay, is they say that um, it continues life. And it, it basically it eats itself. It's the dust that keeps eating itself. So it's the universe that continues to eat itself. Um, but... Every man is appointed to live once, and then the judgment. They go before the king, Jesus Christ, and they will be judged unless they chose to serve the serpent, to be part of the serpent, which is, is an eternal, um, is, which is part of death, because it's like a like the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat of it, you shall surely die. We died. They're saying that they want death by wanting this Baba uh, universal uh, thing. They're saying that they want death. They're saying they don't want to listen to Jesus Christ, God. They don't want to listen to what God said. He said, if you eat of that tree, you shall surely die. So the serpent kingdom has already been defeated by Jesus. And above, above this serpent universe, so, so imagine a universe. It's like a, a serpent eating its tail. And it keeps going around and all the, um, the wandering stars are bound here. And God uses them for judgment. It says in Job, who can lose the bands of Orion's belt? Uh, we know the planets are um, wandering stars. But the blood of Christ covers covers it and this is all everything outside of that is eternity in God's kingdom God's kingdom is everything it's eternal this is space and time so there's a timeline when God is going to say it is finished and he's going to put the dragon and death in its grave and it will be eternally lost forever um, and so when we are saved, although we're in the serpent, we're in this kingdom of earth, okay, uh, we, Jesus's kingdom has come in, his light came in, right? His light, which is all over here, he lights all of heaven. His light came in and his, he was so bright, he was brighter than the sun. Now the sun and the moon and the stars and the planets are all inside of this universal blocked system they can nothing can go outside of this system this matrix system and and it and the only light okay so the cherub blocks the sun or blocks god right it blocks um it's a he's a light bearer he bears the light he bears the light and um so what the way i'm understanding and there's a place where they're locked away i don't know if it's under in the pit that's under here the abyss I don't understand how it all works. I'm just showing you a way that we can understand a little bit. Um, so the ether is what we can't see also. We can't see the matter and we can't see ether either. Well, we can see matter that's formed, that God forms, or that we form with the, with the matter, that the elements that God has given us. Um, 
And so when we're saved, we are seated up here. We're new creatures in Christ. We're in him, the son, giving praise and glory to the father, the father of lights. He even is the father of these lights, but there's eternity, there's universes and everything. But you can't go there unless you receive Jesus. Jesus is the door. You have to come in through Jesus. Okay, he sits up there above everything. The, the, the blood is on the altar. Okay, and um, so what he has shown me, of course, it, it looks a little different than this. But anyways, what he has shown me is that the matrix system, it gives life to this flesh, to the serpent. It gives life to the, to the serpent. And, um, and it also gives light to the serpent's kingdom or the, de the dead, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is like a field of God. Okay, because we're going to choose. Are we going to serve God and listen to the word, or are we going to listen to the serpent? The serpent can be bitter wa is bitter waters because they think they are God. They're not receiving Christ and saying, nope, you're God. You have the kingdom. And by the, by the cross, he defeated, he defeated death. He opened the door. Anyone can go in by faith in Jesus Christ. Anyone can go in the door. Everyone's covered by the blood of Christ. You could go in, but they have to receive by faith that Jesus Christ's forgiveness for their sins. Okay, because he died for the sins of the world, past, present, and future, for eternal, eternity, I mean, for, for not eternity, for the time period of um, his time, right? What the time period that he, he wants it, but his kingdom is eternal. So the serpent has an end. That God's kingdom is eternal. What the serpent does is the serpent connects to the brain. That's why Obama and all of them built the two towers, the twin towers, and then they crashed it down, and then they had the one tower. Because it's like a serpent in the brain. It's like the duality. They cut the brain, the right and left brain, and they get into that brain via the uh, antennas on earth, and they try to program you and make you like them, okay, um, and to serve the serpent. So he controls humanity. That basically, he controls humanity. Now, if Jesus sets you free and you're free in the, inside of this matrix system with your flesh, your flesh is dead. So you're seated up in heavenly places, but your flesh is, is dead here. One day you will be resurrected and go into the kingdom. Or you will. Um, he will come through... And he will pull us up to him, and we will be changed in a moment, and then he's going to take us in, in the door, with the new flesh and new bone of Jesus. But meanwhile, all these people are in the darkness. They're in this darkness, and it's God's glory that you have that light. And see, Jesus shines brighter than the sun. So what I'm thinking, and you guys can help me out, is the sun that we look at is, the, is blocking Jesus, <laughs> the true light that gives life. That he's pretending to be the life giver because he's got this, he's bearing the light. So he pretends to give the light to the world, but there's some way, somehow, that Jesus is on the other side and that light is shining through and giving us light. But everybody dies here, right? Everybody dies because they ate of this tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Um, but thankfully, Jesus came in to save us, praise Jesus. And he's God, he could do anything. He could swallow this all up in a second. But um, he lets it go so he could save what's inside of here. What's inside of here is precious to him. It's his creation. He doesn't want it to perish. But if he let it all into the kingdom, it would destroy the kingdom with the darkness. No, it wouldn't destroy the kingdom. But we would be destroyed by, here's how he showed me. We would be destroyed by his holiness. His holiness would make us go away. And his brightness would blind us like it did Simon. Okay, so he's mercy. He's merciful in his waiting. But as the light sh starts shining in, in this place, as we become light in the earth and his people start re are receiving him, this place is becoming very bright because more and more people are accepting uh, by faith the Jesus and his uh, sacrifice for their sins. So we are a city on a hill that cannot be moved. So imagine like a hill right here, do, 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 a hill, because we ate the tree of life that gives us life, 
and our spirits, our inner man, are up here. But our um, we're, we're like lights. We're like shining lights out here with Jesus. Okay. I don't know how it all works, but I'm showing you what I just figured out a little bit stuff when I was reading the Revelation, the book of Revelation. God will put death in the grave. One day he's going to put death in the grave. So these people who are worshiping the serpent themselves and worshiping the dragon that, that has appeared to them as God or making them think that he is God, um, who is, is someone that can, has been going in time and space and time back and forth, getting in, connecting to the brains of humanity and putting um, previous people's thoughts or energy into their brain as a dream or a vision or something. So he's basically taking um, the elements, the energy of the elements from previous people and putting it into the brains of, of, of people. It's a darkness. It's very dark. It's a dark. It's a dark thing he's doing by trying to control the brains of humanity. And these occults love to steal the energy of other people, and they steal it in multiple ways. And I think I pretty much showed you so that we would follow people instead of God, and we would not see God. They try to cover up God. Okay. So or the dragon. So we would worship the creation. That is possibly the dragon of the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, life and death here in the flesh itself and the Antichrist, which is against Christ, against God, against the Messiah. They use the, the use of it in politics. They use it in churches. They use it, in, in, which is fake religions. They use it in trends. They use it to create um, things that you think. They make you think things that are not your thoughts. And basically, a lot of the thoughts that we think we have that are ours are really coming from the serpent. And that's why Jesus said um, he comes from the light, okay, into the darkness. People sitting in the darkness. So you see this picture. It shows the light. He comes. He's the door. He says, come through me. And then the darkness. So we are sitting in darkness. Even though it's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, it was all evil. It was all darkness. When we participated in that, we became darkness, 100% spiritual darkness, blindness, because it was blocked out, blocked out by this serpent. And so Jesus, God, in his mercy, sent Jesus the light of the world. And his light came. He came from heaven. Boom. He was light. He brought light in so we could see. Okay. His word is light. His word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And so he's pulling people out of the darkness. And we are with him, an army of light, on horses coming in and telling people, believe, return and believe the gospel that is peace, that Jesus died for your sins, and that you can come through the door back into the kingdom of light. Um, he's creating all things new. But what these people do, what these false matrix lovers people do who worship the serpent, worship the, this place, what they do is they want to be worshipped. They want money, fame, power, they, and they're like serpents. So what do serpents do? Serpents dig in the ground, right? They dig in the ground. So let's say here's earth. They dig in the ground, and the earth is God's field. The serpents are just supposed to do something and that is, I gotta put it here. The serpents are supposed to just make, be like holes, go into the holes and make, uh, you know how worms make the field um, easy for it to grow things? That's what they do. So you're able to see when they come up, when the worms come up, they become. You could see, oh, yuck, that's a snake, and you want to stomp on it, right? So if you're part of the kingdom of light, you could see that, and you go stomp it because you can now that you're in the kingdom. Now, we don't rejoice that we can stomp on snakes and scorpions. We rejoice that because our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. But um, this field, these serpents have come up, gotten into, the by the Kundalini Spirit, into people, okay? And they're not doing what they're supposed to do, and that's to irrigate whatever they're trying to control the brains of people using that brain instead of doing what they're supposed to do all right so they're trying to run god's show i got to stop this and do the next one okay hold on